Question number 18, we are solving simultaneous equations. Uh, with these type of simultaneous equations, what you want to do is you want to add or subtract one from the other um, to eliminate either the x's or the y's. Now at the minute we can't do that because whatever we try, um, we're not going to eliminate because we've got different numbers of x's and we've got different numbers of y's. So the first thing we need to do is we need to change um, both equations in this case so we've got the same number of x's or y's. I'm going to do it by multiplying the top equation by 3 and the bottom equation by 4 and that will give me the same numbers of x's in the top and bottom. So this equation multiplied by 3 gets me 12x plus 21y equals 3 and this equation multiplied by 4 gives me 12x plus 40y equals 60. I'll call this one 3 and this one 4. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract and I'm going to do 4 take away 3 just so that I'm not left with any negative terms. Now the 12x take away 12x is nothing. X's have disappeared. 40y take away 21y is 19y. 60 take away 3 is 57. And if we divide through by 19, there are exactly 3 19s in 57, so y is equal to 3. Now we know what y is equal to, we can easily find out what x is equal to. We can use any of these equations to do that. I'm going to pick the first equation, because I think it's going to make the numbers smaller. So we've got 4x plus 7y. Now we know that y is equal to 3, so 7y is 21. And what we've done is set up a simple linear equation which we can solve to find x. Subtract 21, divide through by 4, x is equal to minus 5. x was minus 5, y was 3.